it is Thursday morning today. Already we've had a productive morning. I got up early and edited before any of the kids were up, which was great. And then we had a nice breakfast. We all had like kind of build your own oatmeal bar, if you will. I made oatmeal and then we had like all different kinds of toppings that the kids could put in and myself. And then we all got ready. I packed a lunch, hopefully a picnic lunch because it's supposed to be in the 60s today. So hopefully we will find somewhere outside that we can have lunch. And we're gonna go head out to, it's like a kid's museum, but museum is not, I don't know, I feel like that's not the right word. It's like a, a please touch type place where there's like little play areas, like different like setup scenarios. Like there's a grocery store, there's a restaurant, there's an ice cream shop and a doctor's office. And then you can like just interact with everything. And then there's also, I, we haven't been for a little while, but there was like an air exhibit. There was a water play area last time, but it's been a couple of years since we've been. So that's where we're gonna go today. Hopefully it should be not so crowded because I don't think a lot, I don't think like all schools have spring break this week. Although that might not be true. I think maybe a lot of schools are off, but either way, we're gonna go and have fun. And I am just uploading my video now and I was working on the thumbnail, so that is all ready to go. It is 10, so we're gonna go head out. And this is my lunch bag that I bring when we go places. It's a packet. I love this thing. I'll link it down below. The whole entire thing you put in the freezer. So the whole bottom of it and like the sides kind of, not all the way up, but the whole base is like a freezer gel pack. So the entire bag is actually frozen on the bottom. And then I do like to throw in some extra ice packs if we're gonna be out for a while or if it's gonna be sitting in a hot car for a little while. But I just packed their lunches in there. I love using the easy lunch boxes because just makes it easy. And I know there's like knockoff versions, but I've been very happy with the quality of these. So we got one for each kid and then some snacks and some water bottles. So we are good to go. home and I'm just throwing together a salad with a bunch of things we had in the fridge some leftover chicken and some oranges peppers avocado I have just a couple Kalamata olives diced up and then I made a dressing at the bottom oh and cucumbers and then I will add the um, like the spring mix on top but I like to mix all this with the dressing and then add the rest of the lettuce Oh, and feta cheese. There's also some feta in there, which just makes it so good, especially with the orange. I love that combination. All right, kids requested tacos for dinner. So I am thawing some meat and I'm gonna make some homemade tortillas, which is really easy. It's flour, salt, water, and either oil or butter or lard. That's pretty much it. So I have water in here and then I'll put in everything else and then just let it sit until dinner time. I don't have any sourdough active right now, like on the counter, it's in the refrigerator, just kind of uh, dormant. So I would have made these sourdough or at least attempted to, but I don't have it and I don't think I'll have time to feed it and have it ready for making these tonight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And then I had already edited my video, so I kind of have a little bit of the afternoon free, hopefully if the boys keep napping. So I'm probably gonna make a coffee and then I finished my book. I finished The Giver of Stars. It was okay, honestly. Like I have a hard time not finishing a book because I'm just always hopeful that it's gonna get better or I just wanna like see it all the way through before I like really make an opinion about it. So I kind of forced myself to finish it last night. It was all right. I don't know, not my favorite, but I'm gonna move on to my next book, which was that Colleen Hoover book that I had ordered. I forget what it's called, but I'll show you. Brewing some coffee, and this is the book I'm gonna start. It ends with us. I don't know. It was just one of those New York Times bestseller 
books. When was it written? 2016? I don't know. I just go based off of like people's recommendations that I hear online or stuff that you guys send me. So we'll see how it goes. I also just warmed up one of these uh, coconut banana muffins that I had made. I just have a few in the freezer. So we're gonna have that with my coffee. Have a nice quiet time. Fingers crossed that as soon as I sit down, <laughs> somebody doesn't wake up. Last tortilla is in the pan. My brother, who actually moved to Texas and now eats a lot of tortillas, he actually gave this to us and it is the perfect little warmer. It keeps them nice and soft and actually has a recipe on the back, but I really, I don't use vegetable shortening, but I just did a different recipe that I found online. But it really works so great. And I've used it like for pitas or naan that I make. It's just a little insulated pouch. So that is great. So we have tortillas. I sauteed some peppers and onions. I cooked some chicken and I just hand sliced it. Sometimes I shred it in the mixer, but I just cut it up. And I made a little <laughs> salsa. I just used canned pineapple and some red peppers, salt and pepper, and some cilantro. Just have a little fresh topping for this. And then we'll also have cheese, sour cream, avocado. And that should be it. <laughs> I cheese today. I'm using this garlic and chive raw cheddar. It's really good. It's very mild flavor. It's just really, I don't even think the kids will notice. Mm. Yeah. Daddy, how many stars? All the stars. Ten. So Dan brought home some ice cream from a farm out in Pennsylvania called Good No Farm Cookies and Cream and Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. They are delicious. Oh my word. He said they don't really sell them like in stores. It's more like um, like food trucks or maybe wholesale, but wow, super good. All right, so we are going through Dan's closet right now and just thinning it out, decluttering anything that he hasn't been wearing, just kind of doing a little purge of things that I could bring to the swap and just it just needs to be done. He asked me to do this. Right, Dan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, you know better than I do what I wear and what I don't wear. So we did get rid of a lot. You see all these empty hangers. And yeah, I'm still going through it and just kind of like shifting the short sleeve to the back and putting long sleeve in the front. So we have a little giveaway pile forming. So that looks good. And like I said, we'll do a little rearranging but he pretty much wears like the same button downs over and over so it wasn't too hard to figure out what to what to pass along so it's 9 p.m i am sneaking out to walmart and just honestly be by myself <laughs> for a little bit it's wonderful having spring break i love my children dearly but i'm gonna enjoy just kind of wandering and picking up a few things that we need all right, I am back home with a very random assortment of things. Let me show you. The first thing I saw in the front of the store were all of these plants and bulbs and things. And so I picked up three packs of strawberries. I have no idea if these will actually bloom or produce anything this year, but my girls are really into gardening. So we're gonna do those. I picked up these chips. We don't really buy chips often, but we are doing a fun park day tomorrow so I thought that would be something fun they would enjoy. Some cheese sticks, some almond butter, I like this Maranatha one, it is just almonds, and some pink sea salt. I got another one of these jars because this is what I use to do my sauerkraut and I wanted to have a backup one so that while we're eating one I can be doing the second batch on the counter. And then I got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, more iced coffee. I picked up this peanut powder. It's kind of like the PB2, but this one is just peanuts is the only ingredient. The PB2 I think had sugar in it or oil. And I love peanut butter. Absolutely love it. But I don't think that it loves me 
it's been a year long years long experiment but i think that peanut butter makes me break out and again i have been testing this theory probably for six years and i do think that i have isolated it at least to a certain degree to peanut butter so my thought is that maybe this won't make me break out because you just mix it with water or you can use it powdered in like smoothies so if i can't have it then my kids will have it it's that's no big deal but i figured it was worth a try because i seriously love it and i miss it so much but i won't go into it i think that it's not for me i also got they had all the sunscreens out so i picked up one to have i think i have some already but just in case you never know it's all of a sudden gonna be super hot one day and then i'm gonna wish i had a fresh one and then i got some shampoo and conditioner never heard of this brand but it looked good and it smelled really good i got a couple of these t-shirts i just thought that the patterns or not the pattern the colors were really pretty this is like a green it's hard to tell in the dim light um and then i got some plastic bags this is actually part of i'm gonna do my yearly like spring van tune-up and kind of restocking it so things for that are band-aids especially the large size i find that that is the size that we need most often like if they scrape a knee or an elbow or something like that and then i got just the regular size too and then some wet ones to keep in the car those are great if you're using like a porta potty at a park or you're wiping off a counter at a picnic spot or something it's just great to have and then some of these flossers i like to keep in our car and then i saw this band-aid foam so that that was something good to keep in the car and then a fresh bug spray i buy these every year and then i got some eggs some avocados a red cabbage which i'm thinking of actually using that for sauerkraut and trying a red version bananas always bananas they're not so yellow but hopefully they'll ripen pretty quick i needed some toothbrushes walnuts i'm gonna try to actually make a recipe maybe tomorrow for brownie granola so stay tuned for that um, these rockets i absolutely love these apples they're nice and tiny which is perfect for kids that maybe don't always eat a whole one and you hate to waste i don't even waste them i wind up eating them or i cut them up and put them in fruit salad but i really like this brand they're super crunchy they're just so delicious got one of these training water bottles i completely bought it because of the packaging and the pattern i just thought was adorable and i think that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a vlog here it's already like almost 11. <laughs> this is such a crazy late night run but it was just really nice to wander the aisles and listen to something and i don't know just kind of peruse and have the evening to myself so i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower head to bed and i'll see you tomorrow